Alright, welcome back. I have another unboxing. Um, this is Olive and June. I adore Olive and June. I started following them. Um, I found them on Instagram. And I started following them um, in 2020 during the pandemic where I couldn't go get my nails done. <laughs> so then I was like, oh, maybe I can learn how to get them done on my own. Um, and they had a system and you guys should get the system because it's awesome and I've gotten so good. Um, I'm wearing like a classic one right now. My nails are really dry. Look at that. It's horrible. But anyway, um, I call this a classic one because I think it's one of their first collections. This is um, the shade. Um, oh my gosh, I just went black on the shade. Um... I'll find out and get back to you. <laughs> but anyway, um, they just came out with a new product. And um, I ordered it. I always order everything that they launch. Well, almost everything. Because I just love their products. They're so good. It's a nail polish brand. Um, they um, came out with this, like, do your own Manny at home. Um, and, um, the nail polish is really, really good. It lasts a long time and it's shiny and glossy and it looks like, um, gel. It's so good. Anyways, this is their box. And um, when you open it, it's welcome to your best nail life. Um, they came out with new hand care products and that's what this order is. Plus a few So let's get to this unboxing. Okay, so I ordered some stuff that I needed, that I was out of, and, um, I, so this is all that's in the box, so I will start to, um, take these things out. Okay, so, um, like I said, this was some new products that they launched for like hand care they also did a collaboration with um the lazy genius i follow her on instagram she thinks she does a bot podcast and also has a book coming out um and she did a collab with them and created her own shades so we'll open this and go over the new colors um they also recently came out with press-ons and so I ordered these press-ons I haven't tried their short and I think that's what these are yeah they're short ones um round I thought the little checkerboard um green was cute so I'm gonna try that um these are the new hand so, um, they have a uh, Manny Petty Scrub um, so I think that you use this and then kind of wash, you use the scrub and then like you rinse it off. Um, and then they also came out, these are the new products, the overnight hand treatment, which I'm, it's kind of like a lotion, I guess. It has shea butter and pomegranate. Um, and then what I love about this company is that they are salmon free, they're environmentally friendly, they think about all these things, um, and those are important things to me. But Olive and June is so good. Um, and then these are things that I was low on. I was out of my dry drops. This helps your money dry really, really fast. Um, it also kind of helps with dryness and stuff because it's like an oil. I really like it. You need to use dry drops after your mani is done. Um, and then they have their hand serum, which I use. I have one in my bag, and then I have one in my nightstand. So, um, the one in my bag is low, so I might have to order another one. I like to always have at least two on hand. I gave away a lot of these for Christmas. Um, these were nice little, little gifts for coworkers and stuff. 
and the cuticle serum, which I always like to have an extra one, so I carry those um, in a few different places. One in my bag, one in my nightstand, one in my makeup bag, um, just so that I do them before I leave. I add it before I leave. Um, cuticle serum is awesome. All right, we um, going to go over the colors. I'm going to open this and check out these new colors. Okay, so I've opened my polishes. They come bubble wrap to keep them protected. Um, this is HD. Um, I just ordered this because I needed a new one. I think HD is part of my very first order. So after a while, if you use nail polish a lot, it kind of gets goopy. And I don't think they recommend um, adding acetone, although you could try it. Um, I just wanted a nice fresh one because white is kind of hard to paint. Um, so it's better if it's just, you know, fresh and new. So I needed a new HD. So this one's just a replacement for my collection that um, I needed. Um, these are the three colors from the collaboration with... Um, Billy's Genius. Um, follow her on Instagram. She has some cool ideas. Um, and like how to live your life simply. Um, I probably will try to get that book. I'm not a big book person, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, she created these three new shades. Um, I tend to like more neutral shades. Um, and like creamy milky base shades um, but uh, trying new shades really kind of opens your eyes to other possibilities and you can you know have lots of different choices and so I have found colors that I've loved that I didn't think I would try just by buying them and trying them so um, let's see this first color here is called um, TLC for the Lacey Genius, TLG, sorry, for the Lacey Genius, it's her namesake color, it's kind of like a purple, um, I don't know, like a purple mauve color, and purple's not my favorite, but I'll try it. I've seen this on um, Instagram, um, follow the Manny Club. They post tons of inspiration for different nail um, color combinations. Um, and she wore this and it looks really good on. Sometimes you can't really tell from the from the bottle like how it's going to look on your hands. So that's why I say you just need to try because you never know. You find, you'll find like a polish that you love if you don't try it. But I find that philosophy for clothes too with the, anything just try it just try it and see and see what you think because you never know like you never know um with clothes just by seeing it on a hanger like what it's gonna look like because once it's on it could be a completely different story so same goes with polish just try it and then um see what you think but this looked really good on her so i can't wait to try it this one is called um, Start Small. Um, it's kind of like a, I don't know what color to describe this. This is like a caramelly, like peachy, <laughs> um, new, like nude tone. Yeah. And then... There's like a red, I'm not a big red person, like a classic red is not my thing. I don't know why. I feel like it's just too ordinary. So if I do a red, it's a different red. It's either like a blood red or a orangey red or a corally red. Um, I don't tend to go for just regular true reds. So this color is intriguing. It's like an orangey, it's an orangey red. It's like a, a corally red. And this is called, let's see if I can turn that around. Um, you're doing great. So, 
you're doing great. It's a cool orangey red. There's the Olive and June has a few other um, pretty orangey reds. My last favorite one was Larchmont. Um, it was another collaboration with Cupcakes and Cashmere, I think is the brand. Um, and so she had two reds in there. She had, um, I should have brought them out, but, um, she had, um, um, large mount, which was more an orangey red. And then she had ES, which was a true red. So I'm going to look for that one to compare it to it. And then the nail shade, I can't remember what it's called, but I got to pull it out. Okay. So these are the two reds I was talking about, um, that I liked also that Olive and June has. They have other reds, but these are just the ones that I was talking about. Um, so, uh, this one is uh, large mop and it has like an orangey, but it's more red than orange. While you're doing great, I think has a little bit more orange than it does red. And then this is ES, which I haven't tried, which to me, it's more of a red red. And it's one of those reds that I don't really like, but, um, I don't tend to like, but I, I will try it. I haven't tried it yet. So, I want, I do want to try ES. Um, so I can do another video and kind of compare all the reds. I could do swatches, maybe. We'll see. Um, there's other, I know there's other people that do swatches. Um, and do a much better job because I'm still not, I, I'm, I feel like I'm good at doing my nails, but I'm not like perfect. But I mean, I know there's other people that might be able to relate and we can kind of grow and learn together. <laughs> um, CDJ, that's the polish I'm wearing now. And it's this bottle. This is what it looks like in the bottle. It's one of my first ones, so it's kind of used. But, um, it's kind of like, at first it looks gray, like putty, but it does have a little bit of lavender in there. It's kind of like, if I put it with this purple, you can kind of see. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, so that was my Olive and June haul for today. Um, and, um, can't wait to do some more nail videos. And, um, I know they should be coming out with the spring line, which I will definitely get. So, um, look forward to that. So, if you comment down below if you'd like to see more nail polish um, videos, maybe some swatches, I would try to do that. Okay, see you later. Peace. Bye.